Friday of the 21st week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we earnestly ask and exhort you in the Lord Jesus that as you received from us how you should conduct yourselves to please God, and as you are conducting yourselves, you do so even more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. This is the will of God, your holiness, that you refrain from immorality, that each of you know how to acquire a wife for himself in holiness and honor, not in lustful passion, as do the Gentiles who do not know God, not to take advantage of or exploit a brother or sister in this matter, for the Lord is an avenger in all these things, as we told you before and solemnly affirmed. For God did not call us to impurity but to holiness. Therefore, whoever disregards this disregards not a human being but God, who also gives his Holy Spirit to you. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all people see his glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the lives of his faithful ones. From the hand of the wicked, he delivers them. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Light dawns for the just and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to his holy name. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No. For there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Friday of the 21st week in Ordinary Time. The first reading comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 1-8. to Paul has now finished the section of thanksgiving in the letter to the Thessalonians, and he begins to give some catechetical instruction. He says that you've already heard how you should live, you're already doing it, just do so more and more. Then he gives a very practical example. The question of being faithful to one's wife, of not committing adultery against one's neighbor. These are sexual sins, and among the pagans, that wasn't considered as such an evil thing because the pagan religion didn't really concern itself too much with moral behavior. As long as you said the right prayers, performed the right sacrifices, 
You could pretty much do what you wanted. That's how the Jewish faith and the Christian faith were different, because they required people to live a certain way. And in fact, even if this sin against the neighbor was done in secret, there is an avenger, God. Now the word avenger is the goel. That's the relative who takes one's part when you have no one else to defend you. Adultery is a most intimate betrayal. You feel as if the very foundation of your life has been shaken. Who will defend you? Who will be there for you? God himself. The Gospel is from Matthew 25, 1-13. This is a parable about the final judgment again. In this case, there are ten virgins, five wise, five foolish. The wise virgins have brought along extra oil as they wait for the return of the king so they can enter and celebrate in the wedding party. The five foolish virgins have not brought extra oil. The king is late. By the time he arrives, the oil of the foolish virgins has run out. They ask for some oil from the wise virgins. The wise virgins refuse to give it. Is that because they're being selfish? That's not the point of this parable. This parable is all about the idea of being ready, being prepared. Wise virgins are allowed in, foolish virgins are locked out. The message, be ready, you don't know when the end is coming. Now this might be the end of the world, it might be our own personal end. We really don't know how much time we have in life. Therefore, every minute should be lived as if it's our last. There's a sign in a lot of our sacristies, priest of God, Say this Mass as if it's your first Mass, as if it's your last Mass, as if it's your only Mass. Every day should be lived that way, as if it's our first day, our last day, our only day. So when the end does come, nothing left unsaid, nothing left undone. And may God bless us.